Hello all. So let's get started with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have modeled this stall design. So let's continue with it. So let's go to the top view and let's model this chamber over here. So let's take a box over here and let's draw take a box and make a chamber over here and increase its height till here and you can increase its width that's it alright so right click convert to editable poly so now the next part select this polygon and let's give a inset over here let's click ok so that would be a frosted glass or a normal glass let's insert a loop over here Let's insert a loop over here, one loop over here, and one loop over here. Select this and use a extrude modifier, but a bit inside. Let's click OK over here. Let's take a box, use the auto grid option, and for the poster stuff over here let's put it over here press shift and make a copy so same thing will be copied over here so let's click over here angle snap toggle set it to 90 degree let's go to the top view okay so you can select this Go to the top view and push it here, keep it back. Now the next step over here is you can just duplicate this over here. So you can duplicate this stuff over here, press shift and you can duplicate it. You can make two more copies over here. So now the next part over here is creating this chair and a table. So for creating this chair, let's go into the shapes over here. Let's go into the shape over here. And take a line. Take a shape over here, take a line, go into the vertex and push it in front. So select this vertex, click over here and you can give a fillet option over here. So fillet will make it more smoother. Let's take again a line over here. So select this and this and push it over here. That's it. So select this line. You can go into this modifier, enable in viewport rendering and make it more of a rectangular and push this over here so select this enable in viewport make it more of a radial reduce its thickness and keep it over here push it here that's it 
all right so you can select its vertices and you can use a bit of a fillet so let's go to the top view and duplicate this and click ok that's it so you see you get this uh, particular shape out here so you can just convert to editable poly select this edge control select this edge and give a chamfer and click ok that's it all right so you require to give a chamfer you can give a chamfer over here you can select this edge control and backspace and use again a chamfer that's it all right so you can see over here we have just model this chair select this chair over here and you can just push it over here so you want to add something at the bottom of the chair you can easily model it it's your choice you can model it in this way if you want your own choice chair you can model it in your way so let's take it keep it over here you can just rotate it let's take a cylinder just take a cylinder over here and reduce the height segments reduce the height convert to editable poly select this edge press alt l that is for loop or you can just select this and give a Jump over here and click OK. That's it. All right. So after the creation of this, we can use the line and we can create this stuff. So let's change the color of it. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching this tutorial.